Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, December 27th, 2017. Well, it is brutally cold out there with temperatures in the single digits, even around zero degrees around the Poconos this morning to the mid to upper teens over the suburbs and lower 20s right along the coast. It is brutally cold any way you see it with winds from the northwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour, making wind chills feel below zero to the lower teens throughout the region. So definitely bundle up today. Now, for the most part, we're dealing with scattered cloud cover, but do watch out for a few flurries possible throughout the region. When you take a look at the radar, you can see a few of these little snow showers popping up here and there as little mid-level disturbances move through the region. Not really looking for any type of significant snowfall accumulation, obviously, but considering how cold it is, anything that falls is going to stick. So don't be surprised if you end up with one of these snow showers producing a dusting or even as much as an inch of snow in a few very isolated locations throughout today, tomorrow, and well, through the rest of this week. When we take a look at the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see the basic setup here. Arctic high pressure, 1,045 millibars. That is a very strong high pressure system dominating much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation. But we get these little short waves and little tiny weak cold fronts that are moving through the region that can spark an isolated snow shower or two uh, throughout the region today, tomorrow, and for Friday. In the meantime, it is just going to be cold. We're talking about high temperatures ranging anywhere from the upper teens to mid-20s throughout the entire region. And the weekend, well, there's going to be a threat for some snow, but it's also going to be very, very cold. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a very important factor. I'll explain as we dive into this forecast. So again, for today, watch out for a few isolated snow showers, otherwise scattered cloud cover, highs in the lower to mid-20s. For tonight, scattered cloud cover expected, watch out for an isolated snow shower too, low temperatures in the single digits to lower teens, and for tomorrow afternoon, scattered cloud cover is expected, watch out for a few flurries again, highs in the upper teens to lower 20s throughout the region. Now on Friday, an area low pressure will approach with a few scattered snow showers, again, not a widespread accumulation, but anywhere it does snow it is going to accumulate because it is so cold out. We're looking at lows on Friday in the single digits to lower teens, highs in the lower to mid 20s. So obviously anything that falls will stick. And because the temperatures are so cold, the snow ratio is very high. So a tenth of an inch of snow, which typically produces an inch, could easily produce two inches of snow rather than just one inch or a dusting. So it's something that we have to watch very carefully. That brings us to this weekend. Now here we are on Saturday morning. This little pressure system trying to get its act together, but it's going to be tracking far enough east to, right now, based on all the guidance that we're seeing, to remain out in the Atlantic. Okay, so not a big deal in terms of a, a massive snowstorm. I know that there's been a lot of uh, posts on social media showing like these insane snow maps this is why you do not post five or ten day snow maps it's just a bad idea but what we have here is a unique situation because you have an arctic short wave diving south and interacting with this surface load is trying to get its act together now the question is what happens with this inverted trough back here what happens sometimes is that especially with all this cold air around and with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid-teens for lows and lower to mid-20s for highs on Saturday, you get a little bit of moisture thrown into the coast and you could end up with a light to moderate snow event. If this was around 32 degrees, you're talking about maybe one to two inches of snow. But with the temperatures being so cold and with this interaction with the troughs, this light snow event could easily pile up into a three to six inch snow event uh, depending on the evolution of this trough. So we have to watch this very carefully for Saturday evening into Sunday morning. Sunday morning, the snow showers will leave. Right now, we're going with scattered snow showers, but watch out right along the coast, from the New Jersey coast, up through New York City, Long Island, and also southern New England. We'll have to watch to see how that trough evolves, because that could lead to a more significant snowfall accumulation than just the dusting, okay? Now, on Sunday afternoon, very strong northwesterly winds will be in place. So you're talking about winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures only rising into the lower to mid-teens. So that means your wind chills on Sunday, if you're going to a football game, for example, 
will likely be below zero in many locations, especially if you're heading to the Meadowlands, because those winds are very strong when they get into the Meadowlands. So you're definitely going to want to bundle up on Sunday. And by the way, New Year's Eve is going to be brutally cold. So we're talking on Monday morning, New Year's Day, lows in the single digits along the coast. So you could just bet that New Year's Eve, well, you better bundle up because it is going to be very cold out there and very windy. The good news is that it does look like it's going to be dry. Can't rule out a few isolated flurries and snow showers, but for the most part, dry conditions are expected. High temperatures on New Year's Day in the lower to mid-teens. On Tuesday, high pressure and control. Can't rule out a flurry or two. Lows in the single digits below zero to single digits above zero. High temperatures in the mid-teens. And on Wednesday, we warm up just a little bit. Big warm up. Low temperatures in the single digits, high temperatures in the lower to mid-20s. Well, at least we're not in the teens. And unfortunately, this cold wave does not end anytime soon. So if you like cold weather, this weather pattern is for you. So we'll keep an eye on this threat for snowfall along the coast. Again, I'm not looking like a major winter storm for the entire region. But when you get this cold, these pesky little troughs can sometimes leave a bit of a surprise for some locations. Not widespread, but where these troughs set up, well, you can end up with a surprise three, four, six inches of snow without much warning. So we'll keep an eye on that. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NY and JPA weather. If you like, go check the uh, notification bell right down there and uh, you can gain followers for NY and JPA weather and you'll be notified when these, when these videos are updated. Thank you again, and as always, stay safe out there.